You want a Xanadu? <laughs> All right. Rob versus Pokemon Trainer. I want, I'm interested in this. I want to see how... What I want to see from this is I want to see how Bankai handles the projectiles. Because you know... You know that Dill knows what he's doing with that. And that down tilt is just so good on shield. Period. He's going for a hard read with the laser, too. Okay. I like the situation that Bankai is setting up for himself. I like that. The water gun. The water gun pushing away the gyro. That's really great. Curious if he thinks Squirtle is better for the Rob matchup than like Ivysaur. So I just generally expect Ivysaur to be better for everything. I can kind of answer that. It's just like yeah. the kind of rushdown. Like when Rob gets his momentum, like when he finds his in, you're like, oh my god. Uh, you, you just got keep pushing on on Ivysaur, and yeah. like Ivysaur needs to like try and get his space back, which is really difficult because he has like really slow aerials. Okay. So, you know, until you're able to make that space. Sometimes, it's like, sometimes you just want to play Squirtle. Gotcha. That, oh. was, that had to be an unintentional up smash. Good recognition there from Dill, too, knowing that it's probably going to mash out early enough for up smash to not connect. Yeah. I like that. Monkai's sticking with Charizard, too. You know what? I like that. Charizard's going to... Hey, if he connects something, he's going to kill like that. Nivysaur was definitely not... Great idea. I just said they had to switch twice. Not a bad deficit. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm thinking. I like that water gun. That goes so far. I like Monkai just getting these aerials here, getting whatever damage he can. And this is where you really have to abuse Rob. Is off stage. But Dill knows what he's doing. It's gonna be tough to edge guard him. There's not much he can do out there. So he can go really high and just kind of like back air stall, down air stall. Excellent mash there too. God, he was he was super dead. Down air? Nope. Definitely thought he was gonna go all in on that Ivysaur down air. Tried to parry that laser and it failed. Oh. What a mash. That Nair makes me sad. <laughs> this gyro is just so much work, though. Bankai can't get around it. He's trapping him everywhere. Another gyro. Yeah, there's no mash that's going to save you at that point. It's buried for way too long. There's a gyro. It's disappeared. Mm. He had the lock, too. You know he's going to be feeling that. Feeling that pain. I feel like he's going for way too many. Alright, well, that was untackable, so that's good. But I feel like he's going for way too many up smashes there. It's too obvious. Oh no. Oh, he air dodged. Oh, man. That accidental air dodge off stage cost him everything. Oh, first game going to Dill. That's rough. That's really rough. Just for so long, having this kind of game where you can you can hold buttons. You can just hold them, but now you can't. You've got to be aware of that. If you accidentally slide off stage, you're going to air dodge. You're going to die for it. Looks like we got the bands in. We're going to Anova. I like that. That's a great stage, honestly. Okay, Nova. I, I'm really, I'm glad that we have an option where there's higher platforms, just because it allows for actual escape, where that you don't really have that option on a stage like PS2. You kind of have it on Kalos, but those platforms are so far out that Unova's kind of like that sweet spot. I really like that. Two, one, go! Excellent music, too. Thank you, Spear Pillar. 
It's like one of the best things to come out of Gen 4 is this song. And also Magnet Zone. Magnet Zone rocks. I want to see Bankai abuse him off stage more. Because that's... Dill's great over there, but it's just that's his weakness. No punish off the parry either. Bankai stinks so airborne with the Squirtle too. Finally getting the parry. And the punish. It's not gonna connect. Oh, this is actually, this is rough. Good, good, good recognition. Dill was almost out of fuel there, he had to air dodge. And I think, I think he knew, I think he was trying to bait that out anyway so he can get to the ledge for free. He's not taking damage to that. He's taking a lot of damage right now. I love when Dill saves his double jump like that. Wow, and Charizard's back here extending off of the off of the gyro. That's scary. He did it again, saving that double jump. Wow. That's just guaranteed. It looked like it at least. That was great. Good job, Dill. Calling it now. Bankai's got to be really careful with that ledge because he keeps re-grabbing it. Dill is going to hit him once. Nice change. I like it. He's using that invulnerability just for a moment. Oh, there goes the double jump. And Dill got hit. So good. Entirely Monkai's favor. Oh no. He's gonna get punished for that. It's not as bad as dying, because that was the other option. Double jump laser? This is this is kinda wild. <laughs> Gyro's doing so much work for Dill. Oh no, I didn't get him with the sneeze. Down tilt, so good. Maybe I was wrong about Bankai on the ledge. He's, he's getting away with it a lot. Ooh. Probably suspect DI. I didn't even see a spark. So that was just completely in Dill's control. There were, there were moments that I thought Bankai was going to come and, like, clear it out, make sure that he had, you know, stage control or something, and Dill just keep coming, he just kept coming back and really showed mastery of this character. He's been playing this character for like 10, 11 years now, like, not much in Smash 4, but 